widespread travel impacts as of right now, but it's something we are certainly going to keep our eyes on. We're way too far out uh, to really put too much stock in that forecast just yet, at least until it comes ashore in the Pacific Northwest. So we have a few days to just enjoy some quiet conditions. Temperatures are in the 40s right now in Salt Lake City. Uh, we are in the 30s there in Colorado Springs, 20s in Bismarck, North Dakota. Look at that front. It's on the way uh, to parts of Mountain Home, Arkansas and parts of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, uh, back up into the upper Midwest. Big temperature change swinging across the uh, upper Midwest and the Great Lakes region. Uh, really through Thursday, we're still going to be on the back side of this uh, jet stream uh, dip, if you will, and that is going to put us in that northwest flow. So it's still going to be chilly for us tomorrow but not quite as teeth chattering cold as what we're feeling out there today. On Friday, we start to warm up even more. We get more of a zonal flow west to east, and that will help uh, warm our temperatures to slightly above average into the 60s uh, for the end of the week. So if you got Friday night football plans, it's going to be nice and nice and comfortable, nice and seasonal, at least for the evening time frame. That front continuing to move across the uh, Ohio River Valley, taking some showers and snow showers with it. And you'll notice the clean sweep of the radar here across southern Colorado right now. Clear skies over way, and uh, we will keep clear skies in the forecast tonight. And that's why those temperatures are going to be so chilly teens and 20s and then we'll slowly warm back up into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees for tomorrow in Colorado Springs a little closer to average but still slightly below. You'll notice across Beulah Valley at 52 and good Wednesday to you in Colorado City 52 degrees 50s here along and south of the Arkansas River Valley on Friday very nice and warm sunny end to the work week. Warm, comparatively speaking, to where we are right now. Temperatures in the upper 60s in Lamar and La Junta. And as we move through the weekend time frame, another incoming front will sweep across the state and that will return our temperatures to the 40s for Woodland Park. Minimal chances for precipitation with that next incoming system. The system we were looking at across the Pacific and the Gulf of Alaska, that starts to show up here locally next Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Chances for some snow out there. So if you're staying local for Thanksgiving, probably don't have anything to worry about. If you're traveling air travel, this could be the system that could cause, you know, a um, domino effect of air travel delays. It is possible. I don't want to invoke fear. I'm not trying to do that. It's just something to be mindful of. If you, uh, you know, are going to be traveling around the holidays, always, as they say, you got to pack a little extra patience anyway. Uh, but it's something we'll keep our eyes on. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s for Fremont County on Thursday, then gradually starting to warm back up into the 60s for the upcoming weekend. Slightly warmer for Colorado Springs tomorrow. Our overnight lows start to recover as well. Just back hovering around freezing, which looks nice, comparatively speaking, to the teens tonight. It's definitely an improvement <laughs> over the teens. That's a good way to put it, Mary. Thanks. This is a live look outside right now. Things really starting to pile up right now on the north side of I-25 in the downtown area. Here's a look from I-25 and Uinta once again. Your full traffic reports coming up.